Hello, my name is Rodrigo Seira. I'm a product application specialist at Caterpillar. And we're gonna talk more about the service points. First of all, we're talking about the daily service points of the new backhoe loader F2 series. Let's take a look. All the daily checkpoints, you can have access from the platform. You can stay here and have access on the, all the checkpoints. The first one, it's hydraulic gauge, is located on hydraulic, fuel, uh, hydraulic tank. On the top of the engine, we have a label showing the grease points of the machine. Here we have the filling caps. The yellow one is the engine filling ca fuel, uh, oil cap. The purple one is the transmission uh, oil cap. And here, beside the panel, we can see the engine oil level. And now, the prime fuel filter was relocated for the top. And the primary fuel pump now is electronic. So we don't need to remove the water from the filter. The machine makes itself. We remove the, every day the water from the fuel. That's make our machine much more reliable on the fuel condition that the fuel is poor. On the top of the engine are located the, the air filter. So the filter right now is positioned in the horizontal. It's not in, not in the vertical position anymore. It's easy to access it's and easy to clean. In front of the engine, we have the coolant, uh, the coolant tank that we can check the level daily. So let's talk now about the cooling package. So the cooling package is not the daily service point, but we need to access as needed. So without any tool, I can open the front grill and have access to the cooling package. So on the top, we have the condenser of the air conditioner. In front, we have two radiators in one module. So on the left, we have the transmission radiator and hydraulic radiator. To have more access, we have two screens here, and we have access to the engine coolant radiator. So this is much easier to clean up during the hard environment. So the coolant package on the F2 series now is a high debris as standard. On the fuel tank, we have the drain point to drain the water on the fuel. So to have more access to the engine compartment, we can take the side panel off. Notes that I can do that without any tool and we can have more access to the engine compartment. Remember that we don't need to do that for the, the daily set checkpoints. Here we have access to the, the engine filter and air filter. Of course, we can do air filter from the, the top of the platform. Let's take a look on the right side of the machine. So the air conditioner inlet port is right here, located on the right post of, of the cab. On the fender, we have the compartment for the primary inlet filter to the air conditioner that we can have access open this, this cover right here. Remember that the secondary filter is located inside the cab to the right side. Also, inside this compartment, we have the tank for windshield wiper fluid. On the back of the machine, we have a significant change on the trunnion. So the trunnion right now is a grease last. So we don't need to grease the trunnion. The trunnion is impregnated with oil, so the bushing is no, don't need to grease. Our A-stick is not part of daily basis check. So to adjust the A-stick, instead of use grease, we use the nylon cast wear pads. So to adjust side-by-side -side movement, we just unloose these bolts, Take the shin off and we adjust the side-by-side -side movement. To adjust up and down movement, we just need to adjust the pads located right here and right here using a simple tool to do this adjustment. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, read your operation and maintenance manual.